told Isaiah to write it in the book that this is a rebellious people? What, what was he saying to Ezekiel? Go ahead and read that again. And he said unto me, son of man. He said, son of man, go ahead. I send thee to the children of Israel. I send thee to the children of Israel, go ahead. To a rebellious nation. To a rebellious nation. So even Isaiah and Ezekiel were saying the children of Israel were rebellious people. Go ahead. That has rebelled against me. Uh-huh. They and their fathers they have transgressed. They and their fathers have transgressed. How long? Even until this very day. Even until this very day. So we're breaking the law just like we were doing back then. Now, let's deal with, let's deal with that mark. Let's deal with, before we go there, I want you to see <coughs> I want you to see that Christ broke that, gave them testament, gave this, this, the, the testament to Moses with his own finger. What? My room. They cleaned the toilet the longest. I cleaned my room. I cleaned my room. her sliding on it, And she just slid all the way down. I know, like, and they just do the crazy thing. Oh, bro, you look at the picture? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> all right, what you got? Man, our, our brothers, man, our brothers don't want to, it's like they see the Bible, man. They run from that Bible, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Every time we come out here, man, the sisters always come up. Brothers, they, they scared of that book, man. Because they know, man, they, they know their responsibility is. You know what I'm saying? If the man in line, then the house won't be in line. But we don't want to get in line, man. We want to still stay out here and throw. We want to still uh, sleep around with different women and still go out here and, and sell dope and do all these different types of things, man. Beat on you women. What you got? Y'all gonna stand out here. I need to listen. And he gave unto Moses, uh huh, when he had made an end of communion with him upon Mount Sinai. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communion with him at Mount Sinai. What he gave? Two tables of testimony. He gave him two tables of testimony. Go ahead. Tables of stone. Tables of stone. Written with the finger of God. Written with the finger of Moses. With the finger of God. Written with the finger of Edelon. Finger of God. Written with the finger of Creflo. Finger of God. Written with the finger of the fake Jews in Israel. Finger of God. Written with the finger of God. The Lord is the one who gave them commandments. You understand what I'm saying? So man didn't do this. The Lord moved to have these brothers moved by according to what he said. You understand what I'm saying? The commandments what he wrote in stone. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead and give me, uh, give me what's your name, man. Uh, let's, let's go deal with Revelation. Revelation 13? What is it? 17 to 19, about that part? Yep. 17? Yeah, man, let's, let's deal with that mark, man. It, it, it's, that thing is here, sister. A lot of people already got it. You know what I'm saying? But see what's gonna happen. They gonna, it, 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 it's gonna be an event that's gonna take place. And that's gonna drop everything. See what they doing is, even if the debt ceiling is raised, if it's not raised, you know what I'm saying? Now ain't the time because, because what gotta happen is, what you gotta understand is, they gotta cry peace, peace. They're gonna cry peace and make you think everything cool. Then they're gonna catch you off guard. That's how you're gonna get it. You're not gonna get it while everybody expecting the debt ceiling not to pass and everything to crash. No, that ain't how Satan works first off. That ain't how the Lord gonna work. Right, right. Just like just like you was right, he's subtle. Just like you were surprised with uh, 911. Just like the people in, I'm saying, when it came, when it hit, I ain't say, you, ain't, you didn't know 911 was coming. Now, we didn't know it was coming, but right. automatically I thought to myself something, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we know that ain't was nobody, Ain't nobody on right. the plane yeah. nah. to, to tell what happened. Nah. You get what I'm saying? And right. then, I, I can remember this. Oh, I used to be a trouble team. Uh -huh. Trouble, but because I was acting out for attention, I didn't want my mom to pay. I wanted my daddy. I never right. had my daddy in my life. My mama was on drugs. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I was acting out. I, we was in tribunal report. I had just got suspended from school for 10 days. We had to go to tribunal. We sitting there watching the first plane hit. And we never seen that clip again. Mm. We seen it when, when everything was breaking news. They actually showed the camera of the first plane hitting. Mm -hmm. And it's like, who out of our people will be sitting there videotaping right, the right, World Trade right. Center? Right. At that time, how right. you knew a plane was gonna hit? Right. Right. But that was the only, and you come and ask my mama as a witness. That was a, they never showed that clip again. Right. Yeah, that, that, that was the setup. That was the setup. But that's how they do things. They gonna catch everybody off guard. I mean, but but like us, men of the Lord, we know it's coming. We know and, it's coming. Okay, guess what? I'm I'm telling you something else. Me and my mom had a big debate about it. Oh, something like this. That man ain't. Dead. I don't believe. I don't believe. You don't think he did? I don't believe. They didn't kill him. If he was believe. dead, he was dead a long time ago. Right. I don't believe. Yeah, 2001. Yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, from what I saw, I could be incorrect. But we know they didn't kill him. Right. But he was dead either 
that beginning of uh, 2001, it, when, it, the, it, when the train tower was hit, he was already dead, or he died after, but they didn't catch him. But that's it, a lie. It, it, it had to be day. I don't, I don't believe it. Nah, that's believe a lie. What, what, what they try to do is they, they try to bring it up in these days because we're getting ready for an election time. Right. And they need to make right. Obama look good saying, okay, we I we said that Obama people thought I was crazy. But they already I said, said up. I was being smart. I was like, up. Oh, well, we know he going to get his second term now. You get what I'm it's, saying? It's, it's people, and, and, and people thought, but you know what though? But you know something I, I was reading though? Mm -hmm. Like, no matter, like, no matter how much you vote, I vote yeah. on them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They already knew. Yeah. They, they already knew that Obama was gonna be president be because, because I'm gonna tell you why. Guess what everybody said? Oh, first black president. No, Obama was not the first black president. John Hanson was the first. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Before was the constitution. constitution. Right. Yeah. But as the, the state Came united, right. and that's when you know they started in the history book. But right. Hansen is nowhere in the history. No, nah, no, nah, not at all. Because he was actually one of us. Right. He wasn't African. He was one of us. You get what I'm so saying? So they ain't gonna put him in there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I told you like I always, in, in my theory, is I always thought different. If everybody thinking this way, I'm the person that like something ain't right. You right. get what I'm saying? Right. Something ain't right because right. that's too good to be true over there. Right. And it always been like that ever since a little girl. I mean, I got poems and stuff where I'm writing about the government. I was at ROTC, I swung. Mm -hmm. I never pledged to the flag. I never said no Pledge of Allegiance. Right. I never wrong. did none of that. And, and all this from school up to now, and it's really scary now because it's like it's all being revealed. Why do you, um, you think you know us? I don't know. Why do you think you like us? I don't know. It, it's common sense to me. It, it comes right. to me like common sense. You get what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, come on, man. Y'all really don't believe this. Right. Now, I understand the common sense, but the Bible says all wisdom comes from God. Right. I mean, right. Right. So, right. Hey, somebody, hey, yeah, somebody you is opening your eyes and making you aware. Right. Of all this that's going on. Right. 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 It, even morning. with staying out here, like, I be, I just be looking. But, but for some reason, I'm not going to lie. You know, I got, I got life and care and fire. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to protect me and my children. Right. But for some reason, I've never had a problem. Three and a half years, nobody's never kicked in the door. Nobody, it, it seemed like everybody around me, the door got kicked in. But they don't bother me. Because right. I, I keep moving. I, I keep it moving. I go to work, I come home, I don't sit out here, I don't drink, smoke with them. Right. I don't club with them. Right. You know, they saw me say I'm stuck up. I'm not stuck up. I'm just raised Right. I just know a little bit, you know, different. Right. That don't mean I'm stuck with. I never, I never had an issue like this, never. Right. I mean, I'm just sitting here looking at everybody else's issues. Right. I never got that sister with me. Right. You can tell you for a reason, but it's right. every day, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's every day. And we be walking in the dark, like down in Long Street at 5. I even, a car at one morning, it was like 5, 15 in the morning. I'm taking a, a truck. He rolled down. He turned around. Mm -hmm. He rolled back down, slowed down, looked at my kids. Me and my kids turned around. Rolled back up. Turned around. Police started coming down the street. He killed them. You know what I'm <laughs> wow. Like he rolled, he turned around like three times and I'm crying. Like, you get what I'm saying? Right, Please right, just right. protect that city right, boy. Right, right. And just out of the blue, a police car came. He right. just boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what the Lord will do. The Lord, he, he did me the same way. I had a life in this but the Lord had his hand on me because he was calling me for a purpose. Right. And I answered his purpose. And that's why nothing else bad ever happened to me after, after that point. Right. But now nothing bad ever happened to you. Right. But he's calling you. Right. And he's calling you to turn back to his law. He's calling you to, to, to make you aware of everything that's going on around you in your neighborhood. And he's calling you. But after this day, understand his laws and statutes and commandments and if you go back out there and then you disobey with the purpose that you don't be punished. I told you, it's like you don't be punished for what you don't know, but you be punished for what you know. Uh -huh. That's why I'm scared. Uh -huh. Because I know better. You right, well, 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 see, the thing what you gotta understand is, and you gotta understand now, you really gotta understand this. When you, when the Lord allows the truth to be presented to you, you have to dig down, you gotta start digging and getting understanding. You have to. You can't just take what we're giving you and go sit down and then just go off of what you think or what you see and you know say this ain't true, that ain't true. No, you have to actually go and start looking because he's gonna start tearing you up. Like he gonna start, when I say he's gonna start tearing you up, man, he's gonna start, it's called vexation. 
you don't, it's a lot, a lot of stuff gonna start happening, man. I'm telling you, man, and I'm a living witness to it because when I got introduced to the truth, man, or the book, you know what I'm saying? I tried to, you know, still dibble and dab in Creflo, you know what I'm saying? Still try to stay out there, man. I was like, man. Finally, man, I, let, I came let me in. Tell, let me tell you how you work too, though. I don't have, and, and this what scares me because I, I know he's a creator and I know he's real. I was having trouble with my, with my child, like I was telling you. Uh -huh. I was calling in a lot. It was hard, I was asking everybody to watch my kids every day. So, my, at first my grandma was like, nah, I'm not gonna watch them. And then she was like, well, yeah, bring them on. And my mama, as I'm riding down the street, my mama tell me, well, you know, she'll take this dog and call in and go on it quick so you can apply for tandem so you can get your child care back. I'm coming up Key Road. I'm like, I'm on the phone. My mama's like, nah, mom, I'm already, you know, on the way to your house, so I'm doing on my day out. Boom, head on for me. Just like that. Me and them, it's not her heart. Not that, uh, a van, a Nelly van. Y'all know the little Nelly moving truck? Yeah. You coming up Key Road, how I sit in the two lanes, right there in front of the fire station. The fire department was sitting out there. They seen the whole thing. He was a bus went in the right lane. He flew out that man and then she trying to make a left. And then he was coming up the left lane. He was dead on oh, That was recently, right? Yeah. This, this happened the day before my birthday. My birthday was May the 12th. This happened May the 11th. Here Yep. Y'all sure? Huh? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had to sit off and see, and see this is why I say everything happened for me. I had to do a reason. I had to sit out work for eight weeks. But the whole time I'm sitting out work, and how Walmart is, you gotta be there a year before you get your benefits because they want to make sure you ain't no kid and there like that. So I had to sit there with no pay. But nothing got cut off. My bills was always paid, it was always free. We didn't want some nothing. But as I was sitting there, I got a phone call. My friend was like, hey, my mama, you know, she was sick, but she watched the kids now. But she stayed right across the street. So that issue got worked out instantly, but right. I didn't see it. You get right. what I'm saying? Right. But it got worked out instantly. Right. So now yeah, I'm yeah. able, so now I'm able to pay her. Mm -hmm. I make enough where I can pay her to watch them every two weeks. Right. And I have still have no. money for my bills. Right. So that, that's how I know, man. It, I could have been dead. Me and my right. kids. Because right. if I show y'all pictures of my car and show you pictures of this van, everybody like, I'm surprised you here. And I just got a little bag wrist. You get what I'm saying? And they fine. They was crying because I was on the street. Oh, wow. wow. So, I mean, I, I know it's real, man. And, and, and that's when that thing come in with, they say you gotta be careful with your paper. You gotta be careful with your paper. Uh, what you put? Meaning, meaning when I said I, I was praying that he handled that issue, uh -huh. but I didn't know he was gonna do it in the car to make me sit down. And I still had my job, so I didn't have to quit. You get right. what I'm saying? Right. And even with, with these men situations, you gotta be careful with that too. Cause like I said, I was in a deep relationship. I prayed he was everything I prayed for, but I didn't know any of that he wasn't a, a, a woman. Right. And, I was, and I'm being real though. Right. I'm being real. I should have threw that in there too. So now I've been single for a year. I ain't spending no man. I'm focused on me and my children. Right. Right. But you gotta be careful with your prayer. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're absolutely right, man. We're at this point, man. Um, I guess I'm out. You got a new sister. Cause you're the right player, man. You know what I'm saying? You're the right player. Lord ain't giving me this information for nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta go ahead and bring it home, man. It's like uh, like when somebody be singing. You know what I'm saying? They go to bring it on home. Right. Get that high note, man. Right. <laughs> go ahead and bring it home, man. But see, that's my thing. It's like I like I like fellowship, like, but I, I'm, I'm just not. I'm, I'm not, I'm no not into the church. You don't want no right. What's it, what you got to understand, sister? See, the, the churches that you used to uh -huh. is what got you thinking that the real church is wrong. Right. See, the church was dealing with the children of Israel. Right. You know what I'm saying? When they came, came out the wilderness, when they got delivered out of the land of Israel, that's when the first church was coming. Right? You know what I'm saying? Right. And all these other nations and stuff start putting churches everywhere in our neighborhood. Right. They call them churches. Them whorehouses, sister. Right. Those are whorehouses. Those are not churches. The real church is, first off, got to be ran by the children of Israel. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? That man of God got to be in the light bringing the gospel because he gave the law, statutes, and oracles or judgment to us. So shouldn't nobody else be teaching this gospel? Right. You know what I'm saying? Be careful, mama. What you uh? What was that uh? Revelation 13. Hey, mama. It's getting dark. Y'all go sit on the porch. Just in case. I want her to hit us before we go, man. Yeah, because go get some more. Y'all about to eat dinner. Go sit on the porch. It's <laughs> Mark is something serious, man. And, and I'm, I'm saying the crazy thing about the man I said on, like, my three-year-old, when she uh -huh. just turned three, she woke up one morning, she woke up highly crying. I'm like, Skylar, what's uh -huh. wrong with you? And she was like, that boy shot me in my head. And I'm like, what boy? And she was like, downstairs, he said he gonna shoot me in my head. Yeah, that, that's just how shell shock they is around here. Like, <laughs> like firecracker, they taking off running. Fuck you, I owe you. But, um, but the, this is scripture about that mark. Uh huh. talking about. Um, start off with verse, uh, verse 11. It said, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Now, this beast is called the Antichrist, which is a false prophet, or son of perdition, which is, in fact, the Pope of Rome right now. Right, Pope The Pope. Not, I don't know if it's that Pope, but it's that office. Yeah, it might be this pope, pope or the next Pope. Right. But that, he that, lived, right. He lived long enough, and he's he going to be the one to bring this in. Exactly. And it says, he exercises all the power of the first beast before him. He called it the earth, and then would dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was here, which is the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. Everything, matter of fact, that's where we get Christmas from. Easter, all these pagan homilies come from the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. All these Sunday church, Sunday worship come from the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. we still under the Roman captivity right now. Mm -hmm. um, he said, and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which, he, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Let me skip that. And he causes and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive it. What's wrong? What's wrong with her, Zion? What's wrong? They said, they said. They said she fell off the side of head. They was running. Tell Jaden, come here. Come here, mama. I am a bit. Come here, y'all. So that's where that kind of trend that you just kind of just caught on to because of your surroundings or whatever. You see everybody else doing it. That's what happens. Okay. All right. And you don't have to be like that. You don't have to be like that. Huh? Don't do that. Hey, but check this part out. Okay. And he called us all. And he called us all. See that Small and great, rich and poor, few and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, that no man. My buy or sell, say if you done that way, so had the mark for the number of the beast or the number of the man. Now, think about your children. Think about 
Yeah. The great tribulation is going to come on around the whole world. You think about you can't no, booty no, the way they pay it now. I'm trying to tell y'all boys. Are you flat? Are you flat? They would take their hands and like this. I said, no, bro, look at Birdman, bro. I'm slap Birdman. Back in the day, right? You see Birdman? Look at him kissing the other dude. You know what I'm saying? Why you kissing Bird? God always prophesied that when that happened, they were mothers with him. Oh, yeah, look at Birdman. And that's exactly what happened. Because you get even that chill. This ain't y'all following me. Because when you hurt him, you don't know what you're doing. Slot that five points up. When you were eight and four weeks, you made it. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, you gonna be like, oh, you know, know what? what? You can't go to sleep right now. And all I got to they gay? Yes, sir. All of them. They got for real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are, man. Same, and this is who you uh, worship, man. Bird man, gay. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Any, any dude, man, why would you kiss another man in the mouth? Hey, y'all, Usher Sulu! Why would you kiss another man in the mouth? Usher Sulu! The same shot drink of the wine of the wrath of God was poured out That's God, into the cup of his indignation. That's Mark of the And he shall be tormented with fire and death. That ain't Paul Lewis. That ain't Sulu. That ain't that. That's Mark of the beast. That's Antichrist. And they have no rest day or night to worship the beast or his image or his beast. That's Mark of the 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 beast. That's what I'm saying. If you don't get back to the laws, this is what you and your children will be going through. If you don't want, you don't want to see the lake. So, I mean, so once you see it, man, once you see, you know what's going on. What are these babies right here? Like, are they real? That's yeah, the feet of uranium. That's the stuff that's coming down in the trees over there. And I reckon that that's what's happening. Give it to America. I mean, that's. They always practice on wheels before they do it here first. We like New Orleans, man. New Orleans, practice run. That's why they had to bring the troops in, foreign troops, and then they brought the black mercenary in and everything in New Orleans. It was the practice run. Okay, you, they, they done with practicing, so the practicing is over. You think, why you think the gates are all blocked off in here, man? If, if something was to go down, man, y'all can't get out of here. All they gotta do is put a tank right there and shut everything down. All they gotta do is put two guards right there. That's it, you ain't getting that. It ain't gonna beat nothing but a, it's gonna be a real holocaust. But a lot of people ain't paying attention, man. They sleep. That's what I'm saying. They sleep. But no matter where you go, sister, even, even, inside, even inside the perimeter of Atlanta, inside 285, locked in. They ain't getting out, man. Now we got this plan, man. The only way, the only way out, and I'm gonna keep on coming back to this, the only way out. The law stuff you look at. Yeah, he, you need his protection that's to, it. To, to, to be protected from the right. right. Because he the one that's allowing this to take place. Exactly. Yeah. Give me one somebody, man. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 7 right quick, man. Then first time he's 2 and 6. Let's see who's doing this. 45 and 7. Yeah, 45 and 7. I did 45 and 7. What did you say? I formed the light and Lord, create darkness. The Lord said, I formed the light and create darkness. Go ahead. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil. And create evil. Go ahead. I, the Lord, do all these I, things. I, the Lord, do all these things. Give me a uh, first time to say. So all the stuff that's taking place, the Lord, the one causing everything. Why? Because we're disrespectful, disobedient people. You know what I'm saying? So in order for you to get protection, you gotta turn back and do what he says. First time to turn what he says. The Lord kill him. The Lord kill. And make us alive. Now the police kill. The Lord kill. Now the brothers out here in the street take the gun and kill. The Lord kill. The military kill. The Lord kill. Who do the killing? The Lord. The Lord kill. Go ahead. And make us alive. And make it alive. He bring us down to the grave. The Lord said he brings down to the grave. Go ahead. And bring us up. And bring us up. The Lord the one do everything. You understand what I'm saying? So your protection gonna come from him. Right. Satan can't do nothing without the permission of the Most High. Right. You understand what I'm saying? See, that, that what a lot of people don't understand. He still got to get permission. He, he got to get permission. permission. He, he, even to this day, hey, he's man. Still. Hey, he slow, brother. The most high, uh, I mean, permission of the Most High. Slow, bro. What's going on? Oh, man. Doing all right, man? Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 How you doing, son? Yeah. Hey, hey, man. man. How you doing? Come on, y'all. Yeah. 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 yeah, so. What's all the point? Because the Lord is the one that's going to allow this stuff, man. He's going to allow all the destruction to take place. You know what I'm saying? So I got Muslim? No, no. no so I am in peace. That was us, Israelite. That's our language. That but came you know from us. Dr. Dr. Mel Kyle, New York, when I was looking at one of his YouTube things, he was like, back in the Arabic time, they read from, um, from, was it, right to left? Mm -hmm. And now they got his reading from 
That's no, no, true. They did. Back, back, in, no, back, in, back in the Arabs used to yeah, read from right to left. That's, yeah. that's what Arabic is written in. You read that from right, right. to left. But English always been from left to right. Every right. other language. And that's what he was saying. That's right. what he was saying. Right. And, and he was like, anybody that reads from right to left, they diagnose with them with this look. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what they read. That, matter of fact, give me Isaiah 28, 9 and 10 right quick. Let's see. Exactly. And Isaiah 28, 9 and 10. Let's see what the Lord say about how you going to, your understanding, how you going to get it. You see, I'll be like, the book, like, I, I don't be known. I'll be wanting to read the book, but I don't be honest. I never got past two. Well, see, that's the thing. You trying to read the whole thing. We going to explain to you how you're supposed to read it. Come on, this guy, man. What you got? Hold on, uh, what's the scripture? Isaiah 28, 9 and 10. Oh, 28, right. Yeah, let's see what scripture says. Go ahead. Said, whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall he teach knowledge? Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? This is to you, man. Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk. Them that are weaned from the milk. And okay. drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast. Hold on. Huh? No, go fish our plate. Zion, go wash your hands and fish our food. Burn up the Go do like that. <laughs> what you want? Be kind. All right, man. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Y'all come check us out real quick. I heard that, man. <laughs> no, not time to pick. Don't do what I say. You ain't gonna be able to finish Why that journey without this, though. <laughs> hey, you know we ain't supposed to have no crosses on our necks, right? Hey, you weren't supposed to have no crosses on our neck. Nah, them, they got graven images on. They got no graven images. Come check, come over here real quick. They don't supposed to have no graven images. No, the young lady. What is Oh, Who shall it make to understand doctrine? Who shall make to understand doctrine? Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk. Them that are weaned from the milk. Drawn from the bread. Drawn from the bread. Go ahead. Precept must be upon precept. So precept must be upon precept. That's the scripture upon the scripture. Okay, that's how you gonna read it. Go ahead. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Go ahead. So if you get like you see how we were reading to you, we're getting a scripture here. We're going to get a scripture there. Precept upon precept. Because you try to read the whole thing, you ain't gonna get no understanding. Because he put it, it's been put in a way only Israel is supposed to understand it. Keep reading, bro. Line upon line. Line upon line. Go ahead. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little. Here a little. Yeah, and there, look. Keep reading, bro. Go down, sir. I say you're going to speak to him. But with stammering lips. Go ahead. In another tongue. In another tongue. Like, he speak to this people. So he ain't speaking to you in Aramaic no more. Wherever you scatter that, that's the tongue you're speaking to us in. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you call him, you're going to, you're going to, uh, your, your spirit understand. You know what I'm saying? That you calling out to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hopefully you are. And if you ain't, you could be calling out to Satan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But the reason why you have a lot of information, sister, the reason why, you know what I'm saying, you know something going on because he called us to be a holy people above all people on earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let me do my man. Let's see that right here. I, 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 he said I was going to speak to these people in another tongue. So we ain't, we ain't speaking Hebrew no more. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of people say, they are. you're not speaking Hebrew. The Lord said I'm going to speak to them and with stammering lips in another tongue. So you ain't going to understand Hebrew. You're going to discontinue from your heritage. So that's how you know you ain't in your land right now. Why? Because you discontinue from your heritage. The Lord brought you into captivity. In captivity, you don't get books to read about yourself. You understand what I'm saying? In captivity, they don't tell you who you are. They make you pick up their ways. They make you pick up their laws and their commands. Go and read Deuteronomy 7 and 6 right quick, brother. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Go ahead. Thou art in holy people. But thou art in holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. Go ahead. Lord thy God. Uh-huh. 
Lord our God has chosen the Lord has chosen us thee to be a special people. Go ahead. But to himself, above all people that are on the all people that are upon the face of the earth. So guess what? Give me three and one. So he chose us to be a special people above all people on the face of the earth. Guess what? We broke the law, statutes, and commandments, so we get punished for it because he chose us to do a job. And that job was to keep the law, statutes, and the commandments, be an example to the other nations, and bring them to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we ain't doing it. So by us not doing that, what's going on right now? Amos 3 and 1, go ahead and read that, bro. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against your children of Israel. Go ahead. Against the whole family. Against the whole family. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Which he brought up from the land of Egypt. These were our forefathers. Now we that seed. Now this is us today. Go ahead. Same. Uh-huh. You only have I known. The Lord said, you only have I known. We saw earlier in the scripture that he gave his law statutes unto Jacob and Israel, right? Now he's saying again, children of Israel, you only have I known. Go ahead. Of all the families of the earth. Of all the families of the earth, it's only one family that he knew, us. So guess what? You want to break my law statutes and commandments? What he say he going to do, bro? Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Therefore, I'm going to beat you for all your sin. So I ain't worrying about what everybody else do. I'm worrying about you. So you want to disobey what I say? I'm going to put you in the project. Okay? I'm going to make you have children and the father going to need. Give me do the right to 254. I'm going to put you in the prison house. You understand? Why am I being punished? But see, why, what did we read earlier? They and their fathers have transgressed the law, even until this very day. So you got to realize there was a sentence put on our fathers. You understand what I'm saying? So by our fathers getting that sentence, we serve in the sentence now. But we get ready to come out of this captivity. This, and a lot of y'all don't know, y'all still in captivity. We are still in captivity. If I, bless you, if I was to take you out of your land and bring you over here and put you in this land and don't take you back, you still serve in captivity. Anytime you see somebody else's face on the back of the dollar bill on, on a penny, that's who you in, that's who you in captivity to. Your face ain't on the money. Nobody that looks like us is on the money. We are in captivity to the people that's on the money. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of us say we free. You ain't free. The Lord say when he get back, he gonna free us. He said he gonna put us back in the land of Israel where we originally came from. That's in the scripture. So a lot of us thinking, man, we try to get along, try to do everything, you know what I'm saying, that the other nations do, but the Lord ain't whooping the other nations. The Lord whooping us. They balling right now. They doing good. Yeah, they doing good right now. They ain't riding through neighborhoods like this here, man. No, I mean, just, they, they doing to us, Israel. They want you to feel like you the scum of the earth. Well, you gonna get saved because it's coming to an end, sister. It's coming to an end. America getting ready to fall, man. Y'all better wake up, man. America done, man. This is a wrap. Kiss it goodbye. You had all the opportunity in the world to be a dreamer and do everything you had opportunity to do. It's done now. They letting you know. Look at the gas. Look at the food. Look at how they starting to shoot people down in the street like they shot the brother down a couple weeks ago in the street. And then all they did was lay. They sat around while the brother on the ground kicking, kicking. And they ain't do nothing but stand up with their AKs and just block people from getting there. All our people, they up there cussing and, and carrying on. They ain't gonna do nothing. We talk a lot of noise, but you see them, you see them folks come through with the gun. You ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna do nothing, but guess what? They'll shoot each other. You gotta do the other 254. Go and read that, brother. Go and read that. Get up. So that the man that is tender among you. So that the man that is tender among you, go ahead. Very delicate. And very delicate. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. And this is why there's a lot of killing going on in our neighborhood. Because our eye is evil toward our brother. Go ahead. And toward the wife of his brother. And toward the wife of his brother. Go ahead. That means his girlfriend who's sleeping with. That means his wife that he married, his eye gonna be evil toward her. And what he gonna do? Keep reading, brother. And toward the remnant of his child. And toward the remnant of his children. Go ahead. Which he shall leave. Which he shall leave. So he gonna leave his children. It's in the scriptures, sister. Give me Isaiah 42 and 22. The Bible said we was gonna leave our kids. These are all curses that, that the Lord called before it even happened. Yeah, these are curses. So, so Egyptology, they can't, they can't, they can't compare it to this book. You understand what I'm saying? They can't even compare to. It. You know what I'm saying? That's just something to get you away from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's something to take your mind off of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. 
because we always trying to seek for something. We just saw the scripture say that are in holy people, a special people unto the Lord thy God. So guess what? You always looking for your savior. You understand what I'm saying? You looking for your savior because the Lord put that in you. But by you looking for your savior, savior and you can't find him over here, you know what you, you know what you're looking at? You're looking at Egyptology, looking at the Illuminati. We looking at no one, I ain't gonna even go to church. And you ain't wrong, because these churches are whorehouses. You know what I'm saying? But what you gotta do is you got to turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments, start keeping his commandments, man. You have to. Because the Lord is coming with vengeance, man. He ain't playing no more. Time is up. You had all the time in the world, man, to get it in. It's over now. It's over now. But it's not over in a way where, it's not over in a way where you just say, I go kill myself. No, oh, man, this is what our forefathers was praying for when they were saying, Kumbaya, my Lord. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for the carers home. This is what they was looking for. Guess what? We here to see it. Well, I mean, I hope we stay here to see it because a lot of us don't die. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because it's going to get a, a whole lot comfortable than what it is right now, man. It's going to get bad. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully we make it through this thing. But the Lord got a way for us to get out of here. You gotta understand that same God, man, who brought us over here, the same God that's gonna get us out of here. This is the one that, that told us we was going into captivity by ships before we got here. Go and read what you got. I'll get 42 and 22. <coughs> Jeremiah 9 and 21. That's that spiritual beast. You know what I mean? We was talking about all these denominations. Wow. Right. Right. Isaiah 42 and 22. This is a people robbed and spoiled. So the scriptures say this is a people robbed and spoiled. Go ahead. They are all of them snared and holes. They are all of them snared and holes. What are them holes? Those are traps, man. You snared and hold. This is a trap, man. Exactly. Notice every time you, every time one, every, we get, act, man, it happens to me all the time. We get one thing taken care of, one bill taken care of, then another bill. You know what I'm saying? These are holes, these are traps, man. You in captivity. You can't expect nothing else. Keep reading, brother. And they are here in a prison house. They are here in library. Prison house. They are here in the church. Prison house. They are here in school and college. Prison house. What did the Lord say to children? Who's filling up the prison house, sir? Who's filling up the prison house? You don't see Africans filling up the prison house. You see Negroes filling up the prison house. It wasn't Africa. And they said back on the day, on the birth certificate, it said Negroes. Oh, of course it did. That's why I'm Barack. It's a certificate to say Africa. But he might be, he might be a man. They are for a prey and none delivered. They are hunted. That's why they told you keep riding through a crown protection. They say they are for a prey, meaning P R E Y. They are hunted and none delivered. Go ahead. For a spoil. For a spoil, meaning they take advantage of you. Go ahead. None saying restore. And you ain't getting no reparation. Right. Ain't nobody saying restore these people. Ain't nobody representing you in the UN. Nobody. Because you are the product. The product can't speak. The product is done. It's, it's shipped to where it need to go at, and it produces. Yeah. If it's a seed, it's put in the ground and produces. Whatever it is, a product is shipped, put in the store, or sold. That's what we are, product. We ain't got nothing to do with the agreement that took place between the, the, the people that came together and said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right. We were not a part of that agreement. You were the product that they was talking about. Yeah. But, your pro but now, let's get ready to come to an end. Who right. truck? And our job is just come out here and warn you, man. Right. What's up, brother? Sure. Come out here and warn you. Tell you to wake up, man. Y'all got anything, brother? Yeah. What's up, Jeremiah 921? Oh, uh, you good. You good. What'd it say? When death has come up into our window. When death has come up into our window. It is entered into our palace. It's not entered into your house now. To cut off the children from without. What the Lord say you gonna cut them off from? From without. The Lord say gonna cut the children off from without. Go ahead. And the young men from the streets. So the Lord say gonna cut the young men off from the streets, man. That's why they dying in the streets left and right. right. This ain't nothing but curses that's on them. Exactly. Right. Curses, man. The Bible spoke this long time ago, man. But these other nations don't understand these scriptures. And some of them, matter of fact, some of them know now. Like some of the some of our brothers, like Creflo and Eddie Long, a lot of them brothers know. 
Matter of fact, a lot of the big wigs that are up, the other, the other ladies like the white folks, like the Kenneth Copelands and all of them, they know, but they ain't gonna tell you. But the ones that's below them, like in these little local churches, white folks and little black folks and local, they, they don't really know. They think they're doing something good, but if they had common sense, they'll read the book. Where well, the Lord clearly told us not to celebrate Christmas. That's clear as that. Y'all got anything about Hey, bro, when it's time to sleep, though, they know. Where, where do y'all fellowship it? This fellowship off of Weedan Road, 4957. Weedan Road, it's in Stone Mountain. Oh, mm -hmm. right there. It's, uh, it's only like 30 miles. It's far. No, 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 <laughs> I ain't but 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 yeah yeah but you know what we we're, we're I, not coming I, I out here. To, I go toe to toe with them because I'm not but, as dumb as they think I am. But, but see, yeah, this, yeah. this is the thing. We're not we're not out here preaching racism at all. I got a friend. I got one of friends who's white. But this is the thing though. It, it, ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with white. No, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not racist. racist. No. Now what I said, we got to preach to the other nations, right? right. But we got to come get you up first. Yeah, right. you first. So get your family in order first, man. Then we go teach other nations, man. But if y'all out here jacked up, that don't make sense for me to step over you and right. go get somebody else. Yeah. And I was right. just piggybacking on when he said that the Gentiles, they know. They right. know who you are according to the scriptures. Right. So when it's time to flee, they know who they're going to have to turn to. Do y'all have like a place for the kids? Over there? They they working on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, they 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 we, we, they on the construction right now, but it's yeah, you know. It's my kid's not gonna sit in there. It's my kid. I mean like yeah, this is kids. We all got kids though. Yeah, we all got kids. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Uh, Dakota four. Yeah, we all kids, man. Yeah. Two year old. Because I've been looking for a place. One year old. He need to come, man. Where I can feel comfortable with the truth. Right, right, You right, get what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. A, a lot of places I don't feel comfortable. Right. Uh, let, me, let me give you one scripture that, that takes about these things. Uh, God actually told you Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29. And um, let me get that scripture. Isaiah 29 and 10. 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 Because a lot of these passages, the reason why they're not preaching is because the Lord has closed your eyes and you're going to put them in the two sides. Y'all like? Come on down, man. For the Lord. Come on down. Y'all playing or something? For the Lord has poured out upon the spirit of deep sleep. Uh huh. And closed your eyes. Mm -hmm. Prophets in your room of the spirit of the So, so he said he poured out upon the spirit of deep sleep. And the prophets in us. The prophets, you already know what the prophets are. The false prophets who prophets are lies. The sins are people who, who have the door there. The rulers are the people who have the door there. The sins are the politicians. The agitators are the influence. He said he has closed their eyes. Right? And the visions of all of the coming to you. And they have more than the words of the book. And the that is real. So even though they're reading out this book, everything that they're reading is not understand. When they say they have a vision out of this book, God, it, it's not a vision from the Lord because the Lord said he just closed their eyes. Right. And they poured upon them the, the spirit of deep sleep. So right. guess what? When you're in the deep sleep, it's hard for you to wake up. Right. That's why every time I'm in the deep sleep, every night, it's because I ain't had to get up to pee. Anybody woke me up. My wife ain't, you know, kicked me out of the bed or whatever. I woke up I'm like, man, I slept all through that. Well, that's how we are. We're going to sleep through this whole thing. Ain't nobody going to wake us up. That's right. And that, 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 that's the thing with these past. We poured out upon the spirit of deep sleep, whatever. Which men, which men deliver to one said, I cannot. Uh-huh. Hold on. My bad. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read uh -huh. this. I pray thee. Uh -huh. And he said, I cannot. So... <laughs> Deliver to what? He, we got somebody who reading this book. And, and ask the pastor what, what Christmas comes from. Ask him to read it out of this book. He's going to say, why? I cannot. I'm not learning. Because these people, they got all kind of degrees from all these theological schools or whatever. Probably printed all kind of plaques up on the wall. But if you ask them, find me Sunday worship. Find me what Christmas has in the Bible. Find me these things. He, he open them up. He's going to say, I can't because I'm not learning. He's not learning that. That's that spiritual beast. Exactly. <laughs> so if he's not preaching the truth to you, what is he doing for that whole hour and 45 minutes? What is he talking to you? Yeah, he's he screaming. Well, exactly. He's going <laughs> to pop over one scripture, <laughs> close the book, and tell you about his life story. Right. Okay. And that's it. That's all he's going to get. And then most and everybody going to be in there shouting like crazy. <laughs> and, and you know what? And, and I'm going to tell you something like, I've been like, like I said, I've been, I've been going through a lot. I'm, I'd be the only person in this church. I ain't lying. I 
be the only person sitting in there like. What in the world are you talking about? Exactly. You get what I'm saying? I'm sitting out there, everybody else catching the Holy Ghost. Next time I'm talking about it jumping on them. They shout. And I'm sitting there like, he ain't saying nothing to make sense. Okay. Yeah. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. like I told you, I always been the person to think one way and everybody else thinking this way. Right. I'm sitting in church, grandma mad at me, I don't care. <laughs> really? You can't make me catch no Holy Ghost. What? Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm going to get a whipping because yeah. I ain't shouting yeah. church today. Yeah. No. <laughs> he didn't say nothing at the wrong of bell up here. Yeah, and then next thing you know, my mind started drifting about something else. I'm thinking about school one day or something. Right, right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? He ain't speaking nothing that's actually answering your shit. Right. Right. But, uh, but that's but, it, man. But, but, yeah, y'all say y'all do pick up on Saturday? Hey man, we got it. We got to come get you. We'll come get you. Hey, we'll work out something, man. We're going to work hey, what out. What time? Uh, the sun started at 2, bro. In the 2 in the afternoon? Yeah. That's good time because 9 times out of 10, the football game is up in the morning. <laughs> you talking about on Sunday? No, Saturday. Oh, yeah. Wrong, oh, I'm going to say, one works on no Sunday. No, his football. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I had two coffee. So I could be there for him. Try to keep him around some meals because yeah. he's dead. But, you know. Yeah, I feel you, man. I definitely feel you. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, this Saturday, I'm I'm gonna get somebody to call this Saturday. Yeah, let's get this sister information. Tamithia, by the way. Did I Tamithia? introduce myself? No, Tamithia. Oh, you said Shantae when you was giving your... Sh Shantae is my middle name, oh, but okay. that's what my nickname, but my, my name is Tamithia. Tamithia, my name is Shafiqa. Shafiqa. It was nice. And your name? Brother Nate. Brother Nathan. That's Nathan. Uh -huh. Nathan. Nice meeting you, sir. It was nice meeting you as well. I'm going to give y'all a call Saturday. Yeah, we're going to give you some information. That, that give me enough time to get up when I want to and not after a long time.